chains. What does it mean? Have you heard it? Well, this video will tell you what a food chain is and let you distinguish between producers, consumers, scavengers, and decomposers. A food chain describes who eats what in the wild. Every living thing, once sold algae, the giant blue whales needs food to survive. A food chain shows the flow of energy in an ecosystem. Organisms are classified according to the flow of energy into producers, consumers, and decomposers. Now, based on the classification mentioned, we need to identify what kind of organisms are this. First, what are producers? Producers are organisms that use energy to make food. But how? Through the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process where plants make their own food. And to complete this process, plants need carbon dioxide, water, and light, or sunlight, to produce glucose and oxygen. Since the plants can make their own food, they are considered as producers. Plants take in carbon dioxide along with water and nutrients. Then, they use energy from the sun to convert them into glucose, which is sugar and oxygen. Glucose is the essential source of energy for plants and other organisms. Second is the organisms that feed on other organisms and are unable to make their own food, and they are called consumers. Consumers are grouped into three. Those are herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Now, consumers that feed only on plants are called herbivores. Consumers that feed only on meat or animals are called carnivores. But the consumers that feed both plants and animals are called omnivores. Now, since carnivores doesn't rely on plants but on animals, so they need to hunt for their food. Hunting is an important activity in a carnivore's life. It's the best way to get food. Now, the animals that kill other animals for food are called predators. And the animals that are hunted and eaten by predators are called prey. There are groups of organisms that rely on dead organisms. They are called scavengers and decomposers. First is the scavengers. They are carnivores that eat already dead animals, examples, eagles, and hyenas. Second is the decomposers. These are not animals, but considered final eaters in the food chain. These are fungi and bacteria. They break down dead organisms to return nutrients to the soil. Now, a food chain is a feeding relationship between organisms within a habitat and the base of all food chains are producers. Take a look at the diagram. There is an order in the trophic level and how the energy is transferred to the organism. The first eater, which is what we call the primary consumer, will receive more energy from the producer. The second eater, who will eat the primary consumer, will be called secondary consumer and receive energy coming from the producer and is lesser than the first eater or the primary consumer. The third eater who eats the secondary consumer will be called tertiary consumer and so on. Until the final eater which we call the decomposers will break down the dead body of the final eater in the consumer group to return nutrients to the soil and the plants may absorb that nutrients again and used in the process of photosynthesis. The food chain shows that the transfer of energy from one organism to the other is decreasing. That ends our lesson and if you learn new things today, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be updated to my upcoming videos.